Mysterious Corporation sets eight candidates for the final stage of selection for a prestigious job. Welcome back to Popcorn Time Movie Digest. Today I will show you a science fiction thriller film from 2009, titled Exam Spoilers Ahead, Watch Out and Take Care. As the story reveals itself, we learn that the prospective employer is a powerful biotech corporation that has built its wealth on discovering a way to inhibit the deadly symptoms of an unnamed viral pandemic. Each character is given more layers of substance and emotion through this. These are ruthless people, driven for personal reasons to succeed, but not because they're bad. The treatments are expensive, some have a loved one with a viral infection, some have the infection themselves. Eight talented candidates have reached the final stage of selection for a prestigious job to join the ranks of a mysterious and powerful corporation. The group enters a room and sits at individual desks. They have passed previous requirements not mentioned in the film. Each desk has a paper printed with the word candidate and a number from 1 to 8. The invigilator, a representative of the company, Dataprev, explains that the exam is 80 minutes and consists of only one question, there is one question before them and one answer is required. Inside the room, there will be no laws other than what the company permits. He outlines three rules they must obey or be disqualified, there is one question before you, and one answer is required. If you try to communicate with him or the guard, you will be disqualified. If you spoil your paper, intentionally or accidentally, you will be disqualified. If you choose to leave this room for any reason, you will be disqualified. The invigilator asks the candidates if they have any questions. He sets the clock at 80 minutes and leaves the room. As the exam starts, the candidates turn over their question papers, only to find they're completely blank, they turn their paper over and find nothing is written on the back. After the initial confusion has subsided, one frustrated Chinese candidate writes I believe I deserve, and is promptly ejected for spoiling. After her ejection, a young white man, realize it is permissible to talk to each other, he stands up and convinces everyone to work together until they find what the question is. One candidate, white, assigns insulting names to the candidates according to their physical appearance, black, blonde, brown, brunette, dark, and deaf for one candidate who does not speak or respond to the group. At first, they suspect the question may be hidden in their papers like a security marker in a credit card, and they figure out ways to change their environment to expose the hidden words. They try to read a hidden message in the papers by placing them in front of tubes of ultraviolet lights that horizontally surround the room. They then break the tubes so that the emergency lights come on. When they break the emergency tubes they find infrared light. They also try spilling liquids over the paper and other plans all come to naught. The candidates speculate on the exam's purpose and the nature of the company whose identity is shrouded in mystery. Dark claims that the CEO is highly secretive and has not been seen since the initial public offering. It is bit by bit uncovered that the organization is answerable for a miracle drug intended to treat a condition tormenting a huge piece of the populace because of a viral pandemic. In the chaos, White takes control of the group as a de facto leader. Brunette finds they can touch the guard as long as they don't converse with him. She tracks down a lighter in one of his pockets. She needs to light the alarm since it might create some different options from water which might uncover a photo that shows the question. She hops onto a table, yet at the same time can't arrive at the sprinkler. White offers her a paper and in the wake of succeeding she finds that White gave her own paper, so she is disqualified. White engineers the disqualifications of Brunette and Deaf for spoil their papers. Soon enough, the candidates begin to uncover each other's background, prejudices, and hidden agendas. Tensions rise, as the clock steadily descends towards zero, and each candidate must decide how far they are willing to go to secure the ultimate job. White also begins taunting the others, saying he has figured out the question, but will not tell them. In response, Black punches White in the face, knocking him unconscious, and ties him to a chair. They find that Brown is an expert gambler, and he proposes that the board of directors is covered up on the opposite side of the divider wagering on who'll win. Dark is a psychoanalyst who is by all accounts the one in particular who has some data about the organization, the items it sells, its extension, and so forth, yet none of the other candidates were able to find any information in spite of doing some research. They believe she's a covert agent inside the organization and is really working for them and they need to get the question out from her with torment. At the point when Brown will torture her by cutting her with a piece of paper, they find that she has self-hurt on one of her thighs previously. Brown makes a cut. Blonde offers her a piece of plastic plaster. White pleads for his medication, implying he has the virus and starts convulsing but they are unable to find his medication. While every other person is attempting to choose the most ideal approach to help, Dark moves in the direction of the clear screen and argues, and is consequently disqualified. 
Blonde retrieves the medication for White, which was stolen from him earlier by Brown, and uses it to revive him. The others discharge White and request to know the question. White proposes that there is no doubt that the company will just recruit the final competitor. He and Black start arguing and race to get the guard's firearm. Dark takes the guard's firearm, however, it requires the gatekeeper's unique mark to fire, giving White the opportunity to recover it. White threatens everyone that they should leave or be killed. White drives Brown away from the room at gunpoint, disqualifying him, then, at that point drives Blonde out. As she leaves the room, Blonde turns off the voice-initiated lights, permitting Black to assault White. In obscurity, White kills Black. Blonde has not totally left the room. One of her feet remains somewhat in the room. Before White can kill her, the test clock runs to zero. White then, at that point addresses the invigilator, yelling to the opposite side of the divider that he's won, but is disqualified. It is uncovered that Def has changed the clock so the 80-minute time allotment has not yet terminated. The glass divider is turned on and White can see the outline of the invigilator. He takes a look at Black on the floor and understands that it has all been in pointlessness, so he attempts to commit suicide. He can't because, as recalled, the weapon will just work with the gatekeeper's fingers. The gatekeeper disqualifies him by putting his arm on White's shoulder and leads him out. Blonde then, at that point recollects that Def had been utilizing glasses and a piece of broken glass with a test paper prior. Taking the neglected glasses, she discovers the expression question 1. On the test paper in microscopic composition. Blonde understands that question 1 alludes to the solitary question asked of the group by the invigilator toward the start of the test, any questions? Blonde answers no. The invigilator then enters, extended to the employment opportunity, and uncovers that Def is really the CEO of the organization, and a scientist who had found the virus cure but also discovered a method of rapid cell regeneration capable of curing both the virus and the gift of life for millions of people. The bullet that hit Black contained the cure, reviving him. With the urgent requirement for the medication and a restricted stockpile, the organization required an executive fit for settling on intense choices with meticulousness while showing sympathy, all attributes that Blonde showed during the test. Blonde eagerly acknowledges the work. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.